This archway is quite unusual. It's so narrow and so small. And it's featured in very many photographs in Kerry's eye, mainly weddings. For seven years, from about 1955, St. John's Parish Church was closed for repairs. So all ceremonies like weddings took place here. And they took place very early in the morning. You couldn't get married before half seven and you couldn't get married after nine o'clock. So it was an early breakfast for everybody. But it didn't matter much because in the 50s, the wedding breakfast consisted of bacon and eggs anyway. One of the people who got married here in that period of time was my brother Emmett. Come in Emmett, an alien, come in and join me and tell me all about it. Now, this young couple are back to the place where they are married in what date? 17th of June, 1959. 1959, 17th of June. 50 years ago. It was an unusual day because there was a general election on as well. And a house with two political parties is a house divided. <laughs> and these were setting up a divided house. They went to vote direct from the church on an empty stomach. <laughs> and having voted their separate ways, they went together to eat a breakfast. It was the most beautiful week we've ever had. It was blue skies all the time. Yeah. And uh, when we arrived in Limerick on the first night, uh, I said, I'm going to be incognito, took my coat off, went in with a coat hanging over my shoulder, open neck. They won't recognise us as a honeymoon couple. And we signed in and went upstairs and came down the following morning. All the receptionists were there smiling at us. And what was it? They produced a, an Irish press with a photograph taken of us voting the day before. <laughs> and our, in, our, in our wedding gear. So that was it. It's a, something I won't forget. Well, isn't it great that yeah, 40 yeah, years yeah, after, yeah. 50, years. 50 years after, that you remember <laughs> such a tiny, insignificant incident? That's right, that's right. The thing I remember about weddings here is there are so many of them, and they didn't take much time. The church wouldn't allow you to take any pictures before the wedding, and they wouldn't allow any pictures during the wedding or after the wedding until you got outside the church. So it's, it's only a matter of arriving, well, it should be over in two minutes, pop up, come in, take my pictures, go home and have my breakfast, and then go up to the Midlands Hotel where most receptions are held and photograph the bride and groom, photograph them with their families, and that was the end of it, bye-bye. It never took more than 20 minutes to cover a wedding. Right now, that's beautiful. Once more now, once more. I wonder what feeling now. Yes, absolutely. Now, Aileen, put your cheek near his shoulder. No. That, that's oh. lovely now. Once more now, please, once more. <laughs> that's good. Mm -hmm.